I started playing league when I was 13 years old. That was just after I injured myself when I was playing football. Uh, I injured my knee pretty badly and I had to uh, get an operation for it and then uh, rehab for one year. And during that one year I had pretty much nothing to do because I was just a sport guy. But I had some friends that was into the beta of League of Legends and they showed me the game and I was like, I can give this a try, why not? We were playing a lot of normal games, five versus fives, and just playing for fun. And I was always like the top performer in the team and then that was just a fun thing maybe. I didn't really care that much. But when the solo queue started going well, I think I'm on a different level than my friends and I started playing a lot more solo queue and gave up the normals and then I started playing with the professionals and actually performing against them was kind of the breaking point where I realized, wow, these are professional players, I'm not a professional player, but we're just as good. We met Reckless around two years ago. Uh, he was playing for a lot of teams at that time and we, we saw that he was really good and we were looking for an AD and we were like, Let, let's just ask him if you want to try. I was like, this guy is really talented and he, he will probably play for a long time. And then DreamHack Winter 2012, I played my first event with Fnatic and we won it. And then even my parents said, you should really keep on doing this. Fnatic kept supporting me and put me on a contract and invited me to come down here already in June. Reckless was really, really patient because he had to wait more than one year to be able to play professionally. But he kept playing and he kept performing with his team and he had a really strong will to, to still play competitively. I think it was worth it for him to wait. I, I hope at least because he's the one who has to tell us. I would say it was a worth worth waiting pretty much, especially now when I'm so motivated to just play all the time that it boosts me to even become better. And that is going to be Fnatic taking the game against Millennium. Fnatic locking down, going 4-0 in Super League. I was actually surprised. Yeah, I thought maybe 2-2 would be a great opening for us. Alliance and Gambit were like the number one. I was like, okay, now we're the underdogs and we have to show what we're able to do against them. And now Yenistar gets pulled in towards the tower. Diamond joins them at the top here. This could turn out horribly for Fnatic. We think it's going to be a double kill. The super mega death rocket. I just said to myself, I need, I'm just going to practice really hard now and then prove to everyone that I deserve to be in this team. And uh, yeah, it showed in the first week pretty much. Our MVP of the week is reckless. Getting an MVP for one week is really a lot bigger than getting it for one game because then you feel like there's so many players and you're the one who's the MVP, then you feel really special and that you really perform and that you're proud of yourself. I think it will give him even more confidence and the will to win and yeah, I think he deserves it.